the Sunday afternoon drive becomes a national habit. This is the Columbia River Highway out in Oregon, built in 1917. Magnificent sights to see in America, and a car is the way to get there. Watch, that bear is hungry. For a real vacation, nothing beats a camping trip. Picnics in the park, or alongside the lake. You can even sleep in a car if you want. Henry Ford and his friends go camping in style. President Harding arrives to pay a Sunday visit while they're in the Great Smoky Mountains. Here he is with Harvey Firestone. Ford chops wood for exercise. While Thomas Edison takes a snooze. Firestone offers some friendly advice. The president takes a turn with the axe. Ford, Edison, and the president read the papers. One way to keep him down on the farm, buy a tractor. They're selling more every year. Modern equipment speeds up the work, makes it easier and more efficient, too. Now electricity does the chores for the farmer's wife. running water wherever you want it. No more trips to the pump. And no more churning for grandmother. There's a growing problem in the cities. What to do about all the traffic? Sometimes it seems to go like this. There's a parking problem, even in small towns. The policeman has a new responsibility, directing traffic. are taken to dramatize the need for safer driving. Special motion pictures show what can happen when we're not alert.
The age of the automobile changes nearly every aspect of American life. The tempo quickens in city and country. No longer a luxury, almost everyone can afford to own a car. And sometimes it seems that we're all on the road at the same time. We're a nation on wheels, and soon to take to the air as a slim young man in a silver plane opens up new horizons. Here he is, Charles A. Lindbergh landing at the Ford Airport. Another pioneer gives us the courage to try something new. In no time at all, there are scheduled flights to anywhere you want to go. The dimensions of time and space are further diminished. A new age begins, and we move forward with it. Yet as we go, we preserve the past to mirror the accomplishments of those who have shown us the way to the future.